the question is haploedema and why does it follow a specific pattern of involvement in the Friesen scale? So in the Friesen scale, we've got scoring zero, which means you don't have any dyslipidema. One is a C-shaped halo that involves elevation nasally and spares this temporal portion of the disc. Two means it's 360 degrees of elevation. Three means you have the small vessels as they're crossing the <coughs> area of the, the peripapillary nerve fiber layer obscures the vessel because there's thickening of the nerve fiber layer in that location and it blocks your view of the blood vessel. And then four, it's blocking the center vision vessel. Vessel. The center vessel is obscured. So if you're only obscuring the periphery, that's a three. If it's four, it's central. And a five is everything is, is obscured. And that's because the nerve fiber layer, the nerve fiber layer is what is getting the thickening and obscuration. So when, when we see papilledema, it's in the axon, which is in the nerve fiber layer. And so when we see blurring of the margin, it's because you're blocking the underlying tissue and the underlying blood vessel. So then the question is, what's different about this fiber right here? And why the nasal portion first? Okay. And so the papillomacula bundle is very, very short <coughs> because it only has to go from the macula to the papilla. So a short axon like this doesn't need to be very thick and doesn't need to be very big because the conduction papilla is very short. And so these little short and thin fibers are going to show less thickening. And so you're, you, as the papilledema progresses, it's going to eventually involve them. But it's not like the intracranial pressure is distributed differently across this nerve. It's just an ophthalmoscopic manifestation of it is seen in stages because this part of the nerve is thinner. And the converse is also true when we get the nerve damage and the visual field defect from any pressure related phenomenon, it's these long fibers that have to make a big, long trip. So the long and thick fiber is more pressure sensitive. And so when we get a field defect, because it's the temporal fiber, temporal fiber, we get nasal field loss. And so the prototype for in the eye is intraocular pressure elevation, that's glaucoma. So when we have glaucoma, we get a nasal step as our first field defect, inferior or superior, because temporal fiber, because these fibers are more pressure sensitive. And if it's increased intracranial pressure, the same process, we've got the temporal fiber, which is gonna cause the exact same field defect, nasal step. So when we have arcuate and altitudinal field defects from either IOP or ICP, it's because of preferential involvement of different fibers, and both glaucoma and increase in intracranial pressure spare the papillomacula bundle until very late. And so often their acuity is 20-20 and they have normal central vision until very late because that's a really short and thin fiber. So short and thin, least likely to feel the pressure, including <coughs> increase in intracranial pressure.